person right in front of us. Hi! Bonk! <laughs> well, <laughs> certainly wrecked his day. <laughs> Hello everyone, Shin Virtuality here with another PUBG video, Ooh, spooky, yeah the new update 090 came out and it's got the cool Halloween theme, as you can see the car behind uh, is in a nice orange with lots of pumpkins on it, there's a spooky full moon castle background to gawk at and uh, I'm Taking, a, taking part in No Pants Weekend, apparently. Uh, but since it is Halloween, let's get a costume on. Done. <laughs> uh, anyway, folks, with the new update, it uh, comes with a couple of cool things. Um, we'll take this video a little bit uh, differently than my usual fare. Um, the update comes with night mode for Wrangle. Uh, so about one in ten maps you'll get a night mode setting. You'll have to pick up like night vision goggles just so you can battle it out. Um, you also get first person driving in the FPP mode. So when you're doing first person and you jump in a vehicle, um, it too will be in first person. Uh, you get music in vehicles now, which is kind of cool. Um, and in Sandhawk, they replaced the Mini-14 with the QBU Marksman Rifle. Um, I had a chance to try it out a little bit earlier today and it's quite cool. Uh, I believe there's also another gun uh, similar to the... Um, what is it? The AKM. It's a assault rifle with 7.62 ammo. So um, I haven't seen or got that yet. So. Uh, we're going to jump into uh, one or two quick matches and we'll see uh, if we can get some of the new stuff going for us. So with that all said, let's get it on. All right, we're uh, on Ringo. I'll try and get a night match, but I don't think we'll get it on this map. Uh, you can tell from Spawn Island that uh, what weather you're going to get, whether it's like, cloudy or whatnot, my pumpkins. Um, but when you're on Spawn Island, you have these cool Halloween decorations, and you got candies and pumpkins, and if you equip them, you throw them like you did the apples in the last version, or on the other maps. Well, in the last version, because I think the pumpkins and candies are on all maps. Um, and then if you hit or are hit by candies and pumpkins, uh, they result in achievements being done. Along with the uh, Halloween theme. So that's cool. I uh, also changed regions here just to give us a little bit of an easier taste of things, just so we can sort of demonstrate the new stuff without being overburdened with a bunch of uh, good players. <laughs> just gonna kill me off. Um, but oddly enough, I do want to die because one of the uh, improvements they made in this game is that you can spectate the person that kills you and. So you don't have to go immediately to the lobby if you're down to like the final final few and you get killed. Then you can see what the rest of the match leads to uh, by that person's perspective. And then if he gets killed, you can jump to that person who did the killing blow and so on and so forth until the game is finished. Um, that is a big improvement in my eyes because when you do custom rooms, if you have people that are knocked off early, and trust me, I have uh, clans and Discord server mates that sort of do this sort of stuff, and it's 
not very fun for them when they die and then have to wait in the lobby for everyone else to finish their match. At least they can sort of spectate and uh, see about that. Uh, one other thing I did notice when this update came out is the fact that I'm not overly convinced that the looting the initial looting is better. Um, before the update, when you would drop in an area, uh, it seemed like it was an easier time of getting good gear, I guess you could say, or at least acceptable gear. I can always find like a submachine gun or an assault rifle and uh, most of the attachments that are needed for it, but after update it's been like pistols and shotguns and I have to like take down opponents or bots in order to loot them and get their stuff which is usually better than what I'm carrying even for bots like I mean if they are carrying like UMP9s and vectors then oh, oh look but he came in the building he's gonna come right to me hi <laughs> so yeah I had to kill him with a pistol and this one had a Tommy gun, so I'll take the tax stock as well, just in case. Oh, and so at least there's that. Uh, helmets are different colors now too, and I think it also applies to the backpacks. So um, level ones are not only green anymore. You can pick up a gray level one helmet, which is kind of cool. Um, same wing with the level twos. Um, they're also come in a white variety. Uh, I will take the Uzi over that. Um, AKM though. Hmm. Hmm. You want? Know I'll take the AKM in hopes that I will switch up the VSS at some point. Uh, also, uh, in this, which I thought was a big improvement, that you can do a quick swap of scopes using this button here. Uh, you have to enable it in the options, uh, quick scope switch right there on the left, uh, and then set it in your options. Now, um, I just got wind of a fix for that because anyone who is just getting the update and doesn't see it, <laughs> don't be surprised because unfortunately that's normal. Uh, what you would have to do, and credit goes out to Derek G Gaming because he put out a video on this particular fix. Um, go check him out if you are looking for a particular PUBG mobile action because he's bringing up content daily. Um, but essentially what you would have to do is reset your control scheme in order to get that button to appear. Um, and what he suggests is do it on, you have two control profiles, do it on the secondary one. Uh, so let me hop into this building and I'll show you an example of what I mean. Uh, if you go into your settings, gear wheel, uh, controls, customize, you have two layouts. you got your layout one, which is here. This is the one I usually pick, so if I exit this and go into the match, I don't have the quick scope button which would be underneath where the or sort of above where my jump is um, so I'll go back in controls customize go to layout 2 and there's a scope button and if I exit out there it is so I can click on that and it's like oh I got a red dot and a hollow and a six times depending on what I want to use it for so yeah not quite not quite what you want, but hey. Uh, okay, so we got the UMP. I don't want the six times on it. So let's switch it up there. And I think the six times just went on my AK. Oh, lots of stuff to have here. Uh, does that mean uh, extended quick draw for AR? Why is that not going on my gun? Come on. Okay, get rid of that and get rid of that. 
Half grip on the UMP, please. Okay, a little bit of editing. Um, smokes. Oh, another person. Come in the door. Come in the door. Switch out the ARs here. Uh, don't want the hollow. Yeah, that's actually looking pretty good. I'm complaining about uh, not getting the right gear, but uh, <laughs> I got everything I would want. But I did want to showcase some of the new stuff, so let's quickly see if we can get to a garage or find a vehicle and do some of that. Whee. Ah, buggy. There we go. Let's do the buggy. So first person driving. I also had the music enabled for vehicles that may not just be available in a buggy. Let's go to vehicle. Yeah, as you can see, music disabled, enabled. There you go. So let's exit. Nope, no music. That's fine. We'll just see if we can find a vehicle that will have music. The buggy. Ooh. Trying to handbrake that and it didn't work. Still no music. It's all right. Depending on who you are, you're going to either really like first-person driving, ow, or really hate first-person driving. I'm a little indifferent. I find the driving sort of broken on either mode, so what does it really matter if I can see more or not? Because I'm still going to run into... Oh, hi. Whoa. Drop some goodies this time. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Let's go. Right, that first guy was a little bit real.
Alright. Well, now we got some music. Alright, don't crash, don't crash. Ow. Alright. Maybe driving in first person is a little harder. Yeah, I'll take a gnome. And let's get out of here. And we'll square away our inventory once we're safe. Man, they play this song forever. Pick another one, bro. I kid, I kid. Alright, so six tons on the EWM, which is nice. Uh, I guess we won't need that, or that, or that. Keep the thumb grip just in case. We're not, we're not hurting for supplies, that's for sure. And there's our next drop. Dead ahead of us. Ooh, rock. Rock! Sounds like there was someone afoot. Some for a fleeting second. Okay, so there's one down. There was a guy crossing the field when I was getting that crate, but totally lost track of him. So let's you know, we'll throw the four times on there. Of course, I could have just did. Oh. Switch guns and red dot or four times. Which is why I love uh, this, this option was included in this update. I 
Let's mark a little bit north. And drive there. Burr, 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 burr. Rock. Another drop for us. I won't say no. Yep, there it is. And uh, there's also a new graphical filter on here called Movie Mode, I believe. Um, it is very cool, but it also makes people kind of hard to spot, at least for me it does. So I may be switching back to what I usually pick, which is colorful. You know what? I'll say for what it is, I kind of enjoy first-person driving. Oh. Let's go for the Jeep. I want the UAZ. Just to give you guys a little bit more better perspective on vehicles and how each one sort of differs in their own unique way. I have no idea where I'm going here. Zones come in, and we have to move anyway. Cool, come on. Another crate for me? You shouldn't. There it is. There it is. Person right in front of us. Hi! Bonk! <laughs> well, <laughs> certainly wrecked his day. Can I drive my UAZ again? Oh, come on. There we go. Yeah! Oh, someone on.
Whoa. All right, someone behind me. Quicker than that. Six alive. I saw someone running down that way. I was trying to scope. Oh. It's the same idea. Can we. Oh. Crap. Darn, lost both of them. Oh. Not today. All right, we're still riding edges on. I don't get much opportunity with the alms, so let's take this opportunity. This guy was a real, so get some more stuff off of him. We might actually win this. <laughs> it was not really my intention going in here, but with two people left. No point showing off the, uh, I die so I can spectate the killer option. Uh, uh, the minimap is quite nice in this update as well, as you can see. Uh, so let's boost. We'll boost full. We'll take our Jeep and we'll see if we can flush. Our number two out. Yeah, that's kind of gross. <laughs> what? No triumph of music for the final circle? Come on, come on, PUBG. Where are you at? Where are you at? La 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 la. You sneaking somewhere in here? I bet you are. Ah, all the way over there. Okay. There you are. You go, girl. <laughs> yeah, we'll give it. Give a clap. We'll break on that one, but hopefully you can see a little bit of the new update in that. Open three airdrops. That's why I was pushing for them so hard, but that was pretty much it for the new update. I'll probably do a QBU uh, in a in a later episode when I hit Sonhawk. Uh, anyway, as always, game on, have fun, and we'll see you all in the next one. Thanks for watching. Yeah!